This has been running all night. That's not supposed to look like that. Well, we have an issue this morning. I was afraid of that. I don't think I can really move my chicken coop. Crap. What did you cows do? Well, to clean the concrete nice, float is over there. Did a number on this one. I think there's supposed to be something else here. Oh, you guys. Well, this could have been a lot worse. Now, where in the world, I wonder who sells Richie products? This wasn't bolted on very well. I have to fix that. Ain't another float. Cows came home for water last night. I seen, and uh, yesterday was very hot. So I guess the cows must have been pushing and shoving here. So there was bolts here, and they broke off. They really want some water ready. So. Anyways, I tried taking them off, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill new holes in here and we'll bolt that down. Okay, well, we're back in business. It's got this water we're going. Really, uh, I'm not sure if it's the right level. And... This is where the cows were drinking water and what ha was happening, I guess they pushed this off, took the uh, top off here and took the valve off. It wasn't like they had no shortage of water, but the water kept running and it made a pool over there. It was all wet here this morning. So anyways, I uh, got another water over there. Cows drink it out of there. They can actually come in here now and drink. Now we're gonna go check the other water out in the pasture because today it's uh, 30 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna order a couple of new floats I can have them because uh, uh, it's not that easy getting parts for these things anymore. Right now I'm at one of the watering systems here and I got a slow leak in here and it was kind of getting things wet around here. And uh, so we're gonna replace it with another one. So we've gotta do a little bit of work here. I'm just gonna change this hose. This hose connects to our water supply here. So, I got another one, so we're just going to fix that up here. Okay, well this is fixed. This is slowly filling up in here. I should get a high capacity one. So it would fill up a lot quicker. Now I'm going to go and search for the cows here. Since I'm here. Then I'll go check the hay, see if any of the hay is ready to bale. Everything step by step. The nice thing about this, in case I do have any water runs out or I get a leak or something, and uh, if I get a leak, at least there's still water. Now I'd like to know where I lost my hammer. We are bailing on our uh, one of our uh, pastures. This is uh, one of the fields here. Normally, what we'll do is uh, we will cut our hay every two years. This is actually the third year in a row that we've been cutting this field. And uh, we just have so much other grass that I don't, didn't want to put the cows in here because before the buzzard kicks in. The forecast here, uh, we're supposed to get some rain all day tomorrow. I could have left it for another day, but I thought, let me bail it up and put it in some, in some bales. See how it goes. It took me the other day just over two hours to cut this 
field. And I think I'm going to move over to another field uh, there as well at home and bail it up. It's a little bit on the tough side, well that's okay. I'll still get the nutrients out of that uh, grass. Clean up that field. So it might be a late night tonight, I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. Got to clean all this up. Hopefully we get no breakdowns. This grass is going to grow again and this will be uh, a late season grazing for the cows. Get knocked over. Crazy wind. Hi, Willie. Hi, Willie. There he is. At the weight of the chicken coop that we sit on the loader and will fall back onto the wheels. That's the theory. Tighten the chain. Got a piece of wood that's holding it. Got it back to normal. The only thing I noticed to here yet is uh, my, I gotta move that over. I think I gotta lift up the uh, roof and move this wall over about, uh, about eight inches. And I also noticed there's a plate over there. Right there, as you can see, there's an opening and it gets wider and wider. That thing has got to move over as well, so. That, uh, this wall actually got pushed over. This has got to be moved over a bit too. This morning I was going to move the chicken tractor into the yard. I was going to fill the tank up with water. And that's what I came up this thing was all the way down. And uh, we only lost four chickens out of the deal here, so. No water in the um, in the tank either that would actually hold it down well that looks a lot better standing up 24 hours later well the goal was to take this thing and fill it up with water so that is what we're gonna do now future so let's take this thing into the yard and get it uh, and fill that water tank Yep, we're full. So 
Now he's got water with brand new ground here. They can go fertilize this place here. Got to put more stabilizers on there. Water's nice and full. This actually should keep the uh, the thing from uh, flipping over. So this is what the, was the plan to do yesterday morning, but that took about two and a half hours to get everything back back on its wheels. So I'm gonna get another. Yeah, I'll just put them on the back there and. Uh, Chickens got feed. They're going after everything. That's what I want. I want the poop out here. Good. The water. The chickens got water. All right. Next step. I just might go and uh, try to bring them cows. I want them to go in another paddock there because it's a lot of grass there and it's older grass. I've got to force them out there for a couple of days at least. Okay. It'd be a little more relaxed this morning compared to what I had to deal with yesterday.